Time now for news from the left. While referencing the Supreme Court taking up Trump's immunity case, enjoy the fantastic legal prowess of esteemed scholar one Whoopi Goldberg. Let's look at a scenario where the Supreme Court says, yes, he has that. He has all those rights. He is immune from everything. Yeah. You know what Joe Biden could do since he is presently president? What? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> He could throw every Republican in jail. Yeah. I mean, he could. Well, whoopee. There's an executive and there's also a judicial. There's also legislative. Biden really can't just throw anyone in prison if you have any concept of how the country actually works, which, of course, nobody on that show does, which is why that show is so stupid. But this is what happens when you let people who starred in Sister Act host political shows on major news networks. And ABC is somehow fine with all of this. It has got to be the dumbest show I've ever seen. Next up, New York's attorney general is drunk on power, now suing the world's largest beef producers in an effort to combat climate change. She's just going to sue the people that feed all of us. Letitia James is suing JBS Foods for allegedly not meeting their environmental quality standards of net zero emissions by 2040. By the way, it's 2024, honey bun. Uh, she accuses the meat producer of greenwashing by using false advertising to mislead consumers on their commitment to sustainability, and it's apparently endangering our planet. So she's worried about methane emissions, all of these cows. How much is she emitting, I wonder? California Governor Gavin Newsom doing a great job saving the environment himself after caving to pressure from tribal and environmental groups to save the salmon in a river along the California-Oregon border. Newsom demolished four dams, which ended up destroying spawning salmon beds in the process. So here he is trying to do the right thing, and this goober just screws it all up. The project was approved by the federal government in 2022. The Largest dam removal in the nation's history, getting rid of four dams. But according to the California Globe, the process brought about more pollution, parasites, and chemicals. Great job! Which killed the ecosystem not only for salmon, but other species like endangered steelhead trout that have been rising to the surface of the river. Back in 2020, Newsom begged Warren Buffett to financially support this $450 million demolition. Great job, Gav. Another knockout one. All right, next up, to save democracy, we must destroy free speech, says MSNBC. Some of our greatest strengths can also be our Achilles heel. So, for example, our deep commitment to free speech in our First Amendment. It is a cherished right. It is an important right in democracy, and nobody wants to get rid of it. But it makes us vulnerable to claims that anything we try to do to regulate speech is censorship. Of course, the Supreme Court has held that all fundamental rights, even the right to free speech, can be limited as long as there is a compelling governmental interest. Notice how they don't say anything about what seems to happen every time in this country when these goons in Washington try to give us their little speech on disinformation and try to fact check this so-called misinformation. She doesn't mention anything about how the government so quickly changes moves the goalpost on what is misinformation and how quickly it just becomes misinformation just becomes things that they find inconvenient for us to know. Not necessarily things that are untrue, but things they just don't want you to know. And that is why free speech absolutionist is the way that this has to be. There's no other way to do this. There's no other way to run a free country than to let all the information be out there and people can pick and choose what they want to believe. It's the only way this works. These people don't understand that. And it's funny how the smartest people always end up saying the stupidest stuff. They have all the degrees in the world and they can't understand these very, very basic fundamental concepts that make this country functional, make it great.